Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear students. Today, inshallah, we are going to learn in our flip learning session how do shadows change. So, what is our learning objective and success criteria for today's topic? At the end of the class, you should be able to identify that shadows can be formed in different shapes, sizes, and positions. So let us recap what we learned in our last topic. We learned that shadow formed when light is blocked by an object. So to form a shadow, we need light and an object to block that light. But in our today's class, we are going to learn how these shadows can change. Shadows can change in three things. One, the shape. Two, size. Three, position. The size, shape, and position of a shadow can change depending on the position of the object or the position of the light. So the position of the object or the position of the light when forming shadow can change the size, shape, and also the, the position of the shadow itself. So what do you think will happen if the ball is moved closer to the touch? Or what will happen if the ball is moved farther away from the touch? Let us start with closer. The closer an object is to the light, the bigger the shadow will be. So, if we take the object near to the light source, or we take the light near to the object, the shadow that forms here will be big. Why? Because it's blocking more light. The object here blocks more light but the further away an object is from the light source the smaller the shadow will be so if we take the object away from the source of light or we take the light source away further away from the object the shadow will be smaller why because the object here is blocking less light. Let us look at this example here. So, if we take the light closer to the object, bigger shadow formed. If we take the light source away from the object, a smaller shadow formed. Okay. Shadows also can change the position. Okay, when we look at these shadows here, we can see that the object is the house and the light source is the natural light of source sun. The house is at the same position, but we can see change in the shadow that formed. And that is why, because the light position changed again. The length and position of the shadow change as the light position changes. Again, we have the same cube, but and we have the same light source, but the shadows that form are different. Let us look at the light source position. We can see that it changes. The shadow formed at the opposite side of the light source always. Again, the shadow formed at the opposite side of the light source. Now look at the sun. The sun is the light source is at the top right uh, side of the tree, but the shadow formed at the, at the bottom right of the tree side. So. We can see that here the light is at the opposite side of the shadow that formed. Let, alone, let us look at more examples. Okay, now we have the object here and we have the light. 
If the light is in front of the object, the shadow will be formed behind. In front, behind, opposite. If the shadow is at the behind of the object, the shadow will be formed in front, behind, in front, opposite. If the light is at the left side of the object, the shadow will be formed at the right side of the object. Left, right, opposite. If the light is at the right side of the object, the shadow will be formed at the left. Again, right, left, opposite. If the light is at the top, of the object, the shadow will be formed at the bottom of the object. Top, bottom is opposite. What do you think? Where will the shadow form if I put the light source at the bottom of the object? Very good. The shadow will be formed at the top of the object. Opposite. Your task for today, we want you to answer your activity book. Where is the light source? From page 10 to page 13. So don't forget to turn in your work, inshallah, to the classroom. Hope you understand. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.